I think I'm going to echo a few of Penina's sentiments. In my uh, career as a media personality where I've worked with Capital FM and KISS FM, I've met all sorts of people from all walks of life. Just to name a few, Richard Branson, Michael Jackson, Victoria Beckham, locally, Sauti Sol, Tekla Larupe, and our president, President Uhuru Kenyatta. And the reason I bring President Kenyatta up today is because I want to talk about his big four agenda. How many of you, just by a show of hands, I can almost make out, how many of you know about the big four agenda? Thank you. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, President Kenyatta has said that before he, you know, his term is over, he wants to make a difference and leave a legacy in these four parts. He wants to uh, increase manufacturing, universal health, he wants to make it better, food and nutrition, he wants to make it better, and he wants to offer Kenyans affordable housing. One thing I think he has left out in this Big Four agenda, which I appeal to him, I use this opportunity on this stage today to appeal to him to think of adding another item on this agenda so he can make it a Big Five agenda. I think it is crucial that Kenyans are reminded of our values. What are values? Values make up an integral part of our society. Values are where we make desirable choices. And we know what's right and what's wrong. So I'm going to talk about two core values this morning. One, self-love, and two, self-respect. What is self-love? When I talk about self-love, I'm not talking about your ego. I'm not talking about I, me, my. I'm not talking about you being narcissistic. I'm talking about, and I'd like you to do this right now, is to drop all these impressions of you or this negative self-talk that, oh, I don't have enough followers on social media, my skin is not good enough, my hair is not good enough, my hips are a bit big, the person that I like may not like me, so I don't like myself so much. I'd like you to take all that, put it aside, and right here, right now, accept yourself for who you are in every ounce and every inch of your being. Love yourself because you are special and you are here and you are beautiful. That is self-love. What is self-respect? Self-respect is knowing that there are no shortcuts and success is indeed an uphill climb. And when you lay your, be your head on your pillow at night, you know that you have acted with dignity and you have done the right thing. And let me tell you something about respect. If you do not respect yourself, nobody will respect you. So these are the two core values that I want to talk about this morning, or rather this afternoon. See, again, I'm gonna ask you to do like a show of hands for me. How many people in here would be very, very angry if somebody took your property? Your phone, your pencil case, your bag, your handbag, your glasses, just by a show of hands. How many of you would be really annoyed by this? How many of you would be angry if somebody came and yelled at you or slapped you? Show of hands again. Thank you. How many of you would be really upset if you were judged based on your religion, your tribe, or your color? Show of hands. Yeah. Now, having answered all these questions, I have another question for you. How many of you would then impose this on another person? And if you raise your hands, I'm going to ask you to leave the room. Exactly. So this is why I say we're so alike, but we're so different. Right here, in here, we have the same values, similar, similar values. Let me tell you a secret. 
It is okay to dislike somebody. It is also okay to dislike somebody for no reason at all. What is not okay is to disrespect someone, to degrade someone, and to humiliate someone. Let us not be that generation where when we see something going wrong, we pull out our phones and we start filming it. Let's be that generation where we put down our phone, because it might break, and go there and try and ease the conflict or stop the injustice. And this is why I say we need to be reminded of our values. When you love yourself, when you respect yourself, you will not harm or hurt another because it goes against your authenticity. And therefore, President Kenyatta, when you hand over your baton, and I've heard you say so many times, love thy neighbor, be your brother's keeper. If you are able to instill values in Kenyans once again, and where do we get our values from? Schools, media, books, churches, our family, our friends, so many ways, social media. If you are able to instill these values, and there are many values, I've just touched on these two, then when we go to the ballot, and I take my neighbor, and I take my coworkers, and I cast my ballot, we can all walk away together, and we can continue to live in peace, with love and in unity. And that, President Kenyatta, is how you can leave an amazing legacy for generations to come, how you can break barriers. My name is Pinky Galani. For more, you can follow me on social media. I do inspiration and motivation. Thank you so much.